Hi everyone. So before I start, let me just clarify. I'm not a Angular developer, nor a backbone, and not even a JavaScript developer. I'm just a developer, and I did a few things in my blog, and I'm go I got curious about JavaScript. So I just wanted to share some of some of the things which I did. And I will show you what, uh, how to build a static website in just a, like a, a bird's eye view. Let's go ahead. So when we want to start, a, start blogging, we take a few decisions. Like, uh, of course, what should be the content? Kind of what should be the design? You may want to use some template or you, want, you may want your own. Then we think about static or dynamic, whether you know, the blog should be a static website with just HTML or some basic stuff, or you want it to be very dynamic, like with full features, features like having entries in a database like WordPress setup kind of thing. Now, main thing is like whatever decision you take on these two will determine like where you, are, where you want to host. Like ho there are a lot of hosting providers like WordPress or uh, Tumblr and others. Hosting determines what is what will be the maintenance maintenance cost features like how often you have to maintain and all. And lastly, you decide whether you want a personal domain uh, versus a derived or a free one. So all these has some implications. Let's check uh, something like. I'll talk more about why go with the static approach. First of all, it, uh, you can host your blog, blog for free with total control. So with to when I say total control, it means like uh, free is not as free when, when we host it in other, uh, in major hosting providers like Blogspot or uh, Tumblr, uh, others. You, may not be paying for the hosting charges, but you're paying in other ways, like using their template, using their domain or others. And zero maintenance, as in because it is a static website, you may not need to host a uh, server. You can just push your code, for example, GitHub Pages provide, provides that, or you can push your code to S3. Uh, that will be, that may co cost a little, but still virtually free. And the most important, it's really fast. So, but when we talk about static, what about the dynamic features? Like, how do I add new blog posts? It should be easy enough. How do, I, uh, how do I enable comments for users? And how do I enable something called, like, a, a very dynamic search feature? So I'm going to cover these. Like, uh, there are a lot of static website generators available in, in the market. Like, uh, a very popular one is, like, JKIL, uh, which is actually supported by GitHub. And uh, there are others like Octopress and Docpad, and there are actually a lot more. So a blog, uh, when you use some static website generators, the blog post entry can simply be a markdown, like uh, you add a readme file in your GitHub projects. Uh, if you want very uh, good editors and all, I think uh, I'm sure there, there should be some, uh, some static website generators which provides WordPress-like editing for adding new blog post. So I think Docpad provides that. I have not personally used that. So if I, uh, here's, a, here's my blog post. This is all what I need to write for posting a new blog. So this is actually my complete blog for one of my post named Simplicity. Now, if, uh, now what about the next feature called like comments? So I think it's kind of like, uh, standard like discuss comments is a lot being used and as you can see there's only one over there because i didn't really find some some completer but there is also a con over here that it is propriety the comments and other things are not uh, yours you're not uh, handling it yourself now what about the third feature like search search you can do it with uh, like uh, this something called Google Custom Search or Google CSE. 
It's it's good, but there are two main disadvantages with this. Like, um, it depends on Google indexing. So, if Google takes a lot of time to index your page, you ser the search is not immediately av available. It depends on when Google bot crawls your website. And second, Google go uh, Google branding will be there. It will not be your own branding and CSS. And the second is like, just to start with, uh, we can go with full text search. There's still some problems like it does not scale and it's a very basic search but we'll look at how uh, how to do use this using javascript so uh, this is a google search uh, custom search example like i searched something called independence in my blog and i found two blog posts actually there's one and the other one is my home page and this is like full text search example uh, using I searched for the keyword hello world, so it listed two blog posts. It actually has, both of these has a, has a hello world program, so it, uh, so it did the content filtering as well. Uh, Rohit, you are out of time. Uh, okay, I'll just, uh, so I'm actually done. So lunar.js is, act, uh, is actually with which you can do the full text search. Now I'll just show you a quick, a very quick example, I guess, if you allow me. So like, Here's a search, and uh, that's it. So for this, uh, uh, I'm using JQL, so there's a plugin for JQL as well. So uh, you can look at the sources, and that's it. Thank you. <laughs>